matchup between dangerous Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Damian Maia, and the Hall of Famer, Boyce Gracie. Boyce Gracie makes his way out of the tunnel, and he looks ready to go. Hoist Gracie is the original Ultimate Fighter. He is the man that showed the world that technique and intelligence can defeat brawn and size. Hoist Gracie is set for tonight's fight. with former heavyweight champion, Junior Dos Santos. The submission specialist has a very strong alliance with both Nogueira brothers, former champions Anderson Silva, Vitor Belfour, and pride champion, Vanderlei Silva. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. What an even matchup. Everything between these two fighters today is virtually identical. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Pergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Sold-Out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. This is his first fighting at the new corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, a professional record of 13 wins, 2 losses, and 2 draws. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Horace Gracie. And now to the his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! All right, good to the rules of the locker room. I want you to be with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to the corners, come out for Damian Mike. ready. Hoist Gracie. Ready. Here go. we go! Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Blue trunks for Gracie. Black trunks for Maya. Damian Maya is one of the very best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artists to ever compete in mixed martial arts. He has really worked hard on developing his stand-up game as well. Maya with a good knee to the body. Hard hook. Nice job slipping the punch. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Looking for a body shot. Gracie switches to the southpaw stance. Tagged him.
He hit him with the hook. Good leg kick. There's the takedown by the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. He's got the full mount, Joe. He's got him inside control. Gracie's got double underhooks. He pummels out of double underhooks. And they're free. Big kick misses. Looking to shoot. Good defense with the parry. Great front kick to the face. Man, he really turned on that inside leg kick. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Both men throwing frequently. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Good jab. He connects with the knee. Misses the takedown. Look how quick his counters are. And there's a takedown attempt. Maya with a big leg kick. Final seconds of round number one. That's a solid straight. Great for my sights. Let's take another look at some of the action from that round. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. There's a powerful kick to the body. Amazing highlights from that round. Ariani gets us set for round two. jiu-jitsu practitioner, but ever-improving striker. Nice straight to the body by Maya. Hit him with the jab. Oh, good connection by both men. Nice leg kick. And the, the clinch. clinch. Works the double underhooks here. Oh, he's got his back. Tying him up here in the clinch. He missed that kick. Precise jab by Maya. Lands a nice left. Oh. Damaging kicks. Joe, we can see the game plan here. Punish his opponent's leg with some vicious kicks. Gracie with the one, two. Quick kick. Trying to connect on that jab. Maya with a solid leg kick. Good shot to the body. Hoist Gracie. He's got the reach advantage in this game, but he hasn't used it effectively. He definitely could be doing a far better job of utilizing his natural reach advantage and doing a far better job of placing himself out of range of his opponent's shots. And he pulls away. Failed attempt. Oh, he's caught. He kicks. 
changes his stance. The delay kick. Oh, nice. Those feints are the key to the success of his strikes tonight. Just 30 seconds remain in the round. That's a nice clean shot. There's that head kick. Nice shot. Just missed with the straight left. Nice knee. Right, Round like two in the shot. books. Let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Incredible striking on display in that round. The lovely Jenny here tonight in Montreal, Quebec. Round so three. Joe was coming off a pretty good round. It'd be great to see more of the same as the fight continues. Decent action in that last round, and yes, I would like to see more of the same in this next. Oh, he lands the roundhouse for the bottom. A nice one-two with the right and the left. Man, Joe, he is being very effective with his kicks. Good jab. Gracie's bruise on his thigh is getting worse and worse. There'll be no dancing later tonight. Both men landing in that exchange. Joe, there we see our total strikes landed. Straight punch gets through. He connects with the straight. Maya gets caught again. Joe, and there it is. He finally lands the takedown that he's been looking for throughout the fight. Looking for the rear naked choke. And he got his head out. A and mouth. the mouth. Full mouth. Not good. Great punch by Gracie. Right back up to his feet. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. He's looking for that left. Maya with a strong jab. Good pro fighters always move well side to side. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Under two minutes now. Maya got caught by that left. Trying to shoot. And he caught the kick. Nice hook to the body. Good block there. Look at this. He's got a clinch. He rocks him with that huge knee. Let's go. Final minute of the round. He was able to block that big punch to the head. Nice kick. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. 30 seconds. Maya gets caught by the inside leg kick. 15 seconds. Inside leg kick. Knee. Oh. Big combination. Right. Round three is in the books. Let's take a look here. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's get a better look at it from a different angle. Here we see an excellent kick connects flush with perfect timing. 
Incredible highlights in that round. Jenny getting a set for round Ready? four. Ready? Set Go for fight. the start of round number four. This fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Joe, that last round was entertaining. Hopefully, we'll see more of the same this round. Yeah, that was a very fun round. Great pace, great aggression. Quick jab connects. The outside of that left leg is nasty. Nice job avoiding the leg kick. Check that one. Nice. There you see the total strikes land. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Can't connect with the jab. Maya gets hit with that body kick. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. Take down by Damian Maya. And Joe, he's one of the best submission specialists to ever fight in the octagon. Just over three now. Joe, what a great sweep. Good timing. Now he's in half point. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get three. Right to half guard. Gonna try to take the back, I think. Damian Maya's outstanding in his ability to defend from his back. His ability to defend from his back is sensational. You rarely see him get hit cleanly. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Joe, they get up. Maya counters with a left hook. Nice jab. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. And he's got the single leg takedown. Under a minute now on the clock here in this round. Posture's up. Excellent movement here on the ground. Ah, oh, that's an outstanding transition. Uh -oh. he nice work from the bottom by Maya. Great transition to top position. Trying to take the back here. Uh -huh. 20 minutes in the books, and that's the end of round number four. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. You can really see how awesome that round was by these highlights. Ele vai vir com tudo para se ferrar agora. Eu quero que você consiga aquela queda, joga ele de cor. Jenny getting a set for the fifth and final round. Yeah. All right, last round. You ready? You ready? Let's Five go, minutes on the clock. Joe, this is the kind of fight that UFC President Dana White loves. Two men willing to bring it. I think these guys are getting fight of the night bonus for sure. Nice parry there. Man, you can see the welts on his right thigh. There's a ton of bruising. Great exchanges. Yeah. Maya checks that kick. Caught him with a left. Joe, he's keeping very busy. Look at the numbers. Total strikes land. Bam! Takes him right down. He postures up and lands a big shot to the body. 
into full guard. to continue to look for that submission to try to pull off the victory. He needs a submission. He's not going to win a decision. There's no doubt about that. Nice sweep. Now he's in the guard. Back up. Man, he just missed with that straight left. Looking for a takedown. Nice shot with the left. Big punch. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Look at the bruising on his torso. Trying to get a single. And Joe, there's another nice takedown. Outstanding job with the takedowns tonight. Yeah. Passes, moves into half guard. Good transition. Mount, full mount. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Now he's moved back into full guard. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. This what one goes the distance. What a battle. Davian Maya's perseverance throughout this fight should be the key to him earning the decision. I agree. His perseverance was what really stands out after the final bell rings. And again, here in round two, beautiful technique here. Times that strike perfectly. And round three, another great accurate shot. Round four, a nasty elbow lands from the top position. And in the final round, excellent timing again on that strike. And with the decision, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest, 49-46. 50-45 and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Damian Maia! Damian Maia earns the victory by unanimous decision.